installation video for model F20PS6143PNX5. Require container preparation prior to liner bag installation. It is absolutely crucial to keep the integrity of the liner that the container is inspected for any sharp edges, protruding nails or screws, damaged floors, splinters, excessive rust and other potentially damaging elements. Start by sweeping thoroughly the container floor to remove any debris. Tape the container floor to cover splinters or sharp edges. Patch those areas that are especially damaged with cardboard. Remove or hammer down protruding nails and screws. Secure the cardboard patches with a stapler. Caulk sharp steel edges on the wall by applying silicone. Proceed now to fix the support bolts in the vertical channels by the door of the container. The support bolts will guarantee the top steel bar position at 171 cm, which is the indicated height for this particular model. On securing the liner back floor to the container floor. Now take the liner and without dragging it as to not to damage the liner, Roll it out instead so it can be fully extended onto the container's floor. To secure the liner to the container floor, use the built-in strap on the floor sleeve of the liner and tie each end to the lowest Hide finger bar at each corner post. Start by wrapping one end of the belt around the finger bar and then staple the belt to the container floor all the way until the other end of this floor strap. The strap should be well extended and flat on the floor. Hanging the liner bag inside of the container. Proceed now to hang the top of the liner by taking the lower carabine hook in the vertical seam and latch it to the highest finger bar in the corner post. Then take the other carabine hook that is higher and latch it to the top container ring the close corner post. Repeat operation on the other corner post. Latch now the top middle carbine hooks to the top middle container rings respectively on each side. At the bottom of the bulkhead on each side there are two long black belts that need to be secure as shown here in the video. Do not finish tying them yet. Erecting and securing the bulkhead. Now proceed to insert one steel bar through the sleeve at the top bulkhead. Rest it on the previously installed bolts at 171 centimeters. Add the two pull-up belts with O-rings for each end of this top steel bar as shown in the video. Secure its positioning by making the tie knot. You can finish now the hanging of the liner by latching the top corner carbine hooks to the corner top container rings and put the top bulkhead elastic around the top door latches. 
Now add the suspending belts to the top steel bar as shown in the video. One suspending belt has loops and the other one has velcros. Always use the longest spacing between loops and velcros at the top of the suspender so you can make the tie knot easily to attach it to the top steel bar. Once the suspenders in place, proceed to add the rest of the steel bars for the bulkhead. Check once more that the top steel bar is at the correct height. Secure the pull-up belt with a tie knot if you have not done it yet. Left side of the bar goes on the loop, right side of the bar goes on the velcro suspender. Wrap the velcro around the right side of the belt as shown in the video. Make sure they are tight and not loose as to keep them horizontal. Now you can finish tying the loose end floor belts to the lower finger bar in the container vertical channels. Just tie barely pulling from it but do not leave too loose them either. Finally, pull from the liner floor so it is well extended. Once extended, pull from the strings to peel off the backing of the double-sided adhesive tape on the floor of the liner. Installation is complete now. Some examples of properly installed and loaded liners.